Hello everybody and welcome back to Stray. It's yet another beautiful day in the slums. We will be finishing up chapter four today. There's just a few things that I want to do before we go and speak to Momo. We're in our usual spot here, just in front of the Guardian. And I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna go and clean out the market. We should have all the items we need in order to buy everything from this guy here. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. And he will trade it for three energy cans which we definitely have, so here you go. And all this is is a memory, but it is a collectible. It's required for 100%, so we're just gonna go ahead and pick that up. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. That's kind of sweet. We're going to use our last energy drink can to buy this piece of sheet music and apparently somewhere along the way my game did not register me picking up an energy drink could have possibly been me stopping the game and not having it save so I guess we will not be picking up this sheet music and I will come back for it later which is totally fine I can go find the can that I missed off screen. But we do have the super spirit detergent and we will trade those for the electrical cable. I did go to every single vending machine while I was doing all of the collectibles. So I didn't miss any in the video, but it is probably just a case of the game not saving because it's actually this one right here the very first one right in front of our faces well that's okay then that actually makes it incredibly easy i don't have to actually go around the city so i can go back now to the merchant and uh, buy that sheet music and at this point, or at any point really, you can start giving your sheet music to the musician. So anytime you give him one, he'll be able to read the title of the song. And he'll play it for you. This is a really good opportunity just to lie on the mat next to him. Have your little cat nap accumulate your hour of chill time that's required for this achievement and just listen to some music he will play the songs for quite a while it does take him quite a bit of time to actually stop so that you can give him the next piece of sheet music As you can see, I can't interact with him until he stops. Some music pieces are longer than others. That was probably one of the shorter pieces, but I'm probably going to just hand him most of this stuff either off screen or I'll hand it to him and maybe cut the content out we do have two more chapters in the city as well, I should mention, so you don't have to hand over everything to him right at this moment. Unreadable sheet music. Not very readable, but I can still try.
I like this little tune that he plays. I'm going to let him practice a little bit and I'm going to go buy another piece of sheet music for him. Clean out the merchant while I remember. Get rid of the can in my inventory just to clean up my inventory a little bit. And at this point, we should only have one last piece of sheet music. So at this point, with the electrical cables, we can go and find Grandma and give those to her so that she can make us a poncho. I always do get a little bit turned around when it comes to finding her shop. I like to go by color. She's in this sort of yellowy orange area. And she's going to go ahead and work on our poncho right away. Now, the tragic thing about the poncho is that it actually isn't for us. It's an item that we're going to need in Chapter 6. Entirely up to you whether you want to do that now or whether you want to do it in Chapter 6. I'm going to do it now, but I'm going to deliver the poncho later. Let's go ahead and give him another piece of sheet music just to start clearing out our inventory. And then I'm going to head up onto the rooftops because I am still missing one notebook for Momo. <laughs> So we're going to come back to where the guys were throwing the paint cans. You can see that they're still kind of sitting up here moping, probably. Worrying about how much trouble they're going to get in if they go down to the ground level. And we need to be able to get over to the rooftop where that second robot is. We're just going to go ahead and climb our way over. And we're going to come over this way. You can see that this is another apartment with the big frowning face symbol. And we actually can't get in the front door, so we're going to have to come up to the rooftop, pull out the battery and crawl in through the ceiling fan. So once you're in the apartment, we're gonna start knocking over these big, tall stacks of boxes to get a key item. You can also knock them over as well. But once you've done that, start examining the floor and you'll be able to find the item that we're looking for, which is another one of the notebooks. This one belongs to Momo's friend, Balthazar. All traces of organic life has disappeared, except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. So we didn't actually see the equation, but hopefully once we bring that to Momo, he will be able to help us out. I'm pretty sure that's it in the apartment. I hope I'm not missing anything in here. It has been a little while since I picked this up. I did mean to play through all of chapter four in one run, but then I had stuff to attend to and I had to go. 
the best way to get out of the apartment is to just come over and bring up the curtain and then you can exit out this way and you'll want to climb down because there is a memory on this wall Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. You're not wrong. We now have AI that can make art for us in the year 2023 and this actually comes uh right out to where our musician is so i guess you actually could probably climb up at any time and get that collectible from the street i never think about it i always just get it on my way down because we have to go up there anyways i got a few more pieces of sheet music here to hand over. Let's give him another one. The Ballad of the Lonely Robot. And let him play his music and at this point we are ready to go and see Momo. It shouldn't be that far of a climb to get up to see him. If you want to, at this point, you can dump off the poncho. And I'm going to show you where that is, just in case you are interested in doing it now. I think I'll just wait and do it. But there is a door here. That is the building for Elliot programming. And you can scratch on the door and have them open up. There are some collectibles in here as well, and it's just by Grandma's shop. So this is actually a really good time to do this if you want to because it's close by, but I'm going to come back just to kind of spice things up a little bit, change things up, not do it all in one run. And I think I'll try and climb back up this way again, beside the laundry mat. And at this point, we are ready to go and speak to Momo, which is going to mark the end of chapter four. So big neon sign. We're right close to it, as a matter of fact. We will just go ahead and meet this person. I'm interested to see what he's all about because people have talked about him quite extensively. Kind of maybe seems like a bit of an outsider, like the rest of the city doesn't really agree with him or see eye to eye with him. Absolutely love your kimono. But he's sad. Aww. Poor Momo. You have a really cool apartment, at least. If you want to, before you speak to Momo, there's a couple of collectibles that you can grab. You can walk right past him and look at this poster in his room. Oh, Back Home 2. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? It's alright. It'll come to you. We're retrieving your memories slowly but surely. You can also play with some cat toys in here, which I think is awesome. 
there is a rug here for you to scratch. And if you go through these bars, there is some sheet music up here in his little storage area. I thought I also saw a... Yes, there is a bag here, and if you put your head in it, it'll reverse your controls. You'll eventually shake it off, but this is actually worth an achievement to get your head stuck and to run around disoriented for a little bit. This is not the only place that you can do this. You can also put your head in a paper bag that's found over by the musician. All right, Momo, I'm sorry. I, that was very rude of me. I just kind of barged into your apartment, didn't introduce myself, and went rifling through all your stuff. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. What do you want? All right, so we're gonna show Momo the picture first. This is a picture of the outside. Do you wanna go there? Don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters, and we must stay away from Zerks. It is signed by Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, and Momo, and it looks like Momo's name was added much later. And this is the time when we show him the other notebooks. He might be more willing to talk with us if he can see that we've collected some of the notes from his friends. Now keep in mind that once you hand over all of your notebooks to Momo, you're automatically going to transition into the next chapter. So if you haven't grabbed the collectibles in Momo's apartment, you might want to do that now. However, do keep in mind that we are going to be coming back to the city after the next chapter and we will be put right back into Momo's apartment at the very beginning of that chapter. So, all is not lost if you are kind of just focused on Momo and, and handing things over to him. Oh, you find Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I have ever met. I'll give him Doc's notebook. He was a really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. And then finally, we have his friend, Balthazar. I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Yeah, that's the spirit, Momo. We'll get him out of his funk and get some communication going on. Voila, it works. Come with me. All right. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. 
You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. All right. So, as soon as you hop out this window and onto the rooftop, Momo will wave goodbye and close the door. And this is going to bring us right into chapter five as soon as we ride on the bucket. So we are back outside the safety of the city once again. All right. This is a perfect place for me to stop, seeing as how I just got myself a little checkpoint. And we will run through chapter five in the next episode. We're going to see if we're able to get to the top of the tower and put on the transceiver. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.